I mean, I always think of something we kind of talked about already, and although you didn't ask it to me expressly, I did kind of talk about it a little bit, but the idea of uh, the incredible resonance and influence of Greece and Rome in our own modern art and architecture. And I think that it's not only something I believe about because it's what I research, but because it's people see it constantly in their built environment, right? The built environment in the United States and the Western world and so many other places is riddled with Greco-Roman architecture, right? Uh, why is that, right? Beyond that, why is it relevant to know that that's the case, right? Why is it relevant to know that there were so many banks look like a Greek temple? I mean, I think that that's one way people can relate to it, right? They go and they see it. And so I think a reason to study classics is to be able to understand that, right? And to understand it's a temple, right, that they're looking at. It's not a bank, right? So I think that says a lot of interesting things about why are they choosing that form? And it could lead to all sorts of interesting questions about economic models and so on and so forth, right? In terms of giving it sort of religious resonance, right? Even if it's not uh, a modern religion, right? It's like there's still something sacred to a temple form. Knowing that it was once sacred as a form is, I think, interesting. And it's just like people see, I'm so big about people seeing Greece and Rome in the built environment. And so I think that that's everywhere. Um, and you could find it in so many interesting places. So, I mean, I think you, I see it. I mean, you go to any city in the Eastern seaboard and you will find examples of this. But I think what's, and that's to be expected knowing the history of the United States. But I think what's even more interesting is when you find it elsewhere in the United States, mm -hmm. because uh, that's not to be expected. So when you see something there, it's like, okay, right? And I think it leads in some ways to biography, right? It leads to, well, who themselves was inspired by classics, then maybe had the opportunity or money to promote this type of architecture, right? And so uh, it gives you a window into studying, you know, United States history, which I think is very relevant for every, every person, every citizen to do here. Yes, exactly. Why is that there? You would never expect a Parthenon to be in Tennessee. That is wild. You know, I mean, that as well. And for someone who's from Connecticut, you know, so there's like a north-south like divide. You would never think in your world, you expect that to be in Boston or something, right? You totally, like, so you just do not expect that there.